time. Hi, good morning and welcome. Over the years, I've been on this stage a few times. For me, coffee competition is important. It's a way of pushing myself to try new things and to find exciting coffees. It's because of these competitions that I came across this farm called Las Margaritas seven years ago. I completely changed the way I look at a coffee farm. At the time, they were one of the first experimenting with different varieties on a single farm, which was super interesting because it allowed me to taste the influence that variety had on the flavor in the cup. And one of those varieties really stood out, and it was called Sudan Romay. And it just tasted completely different than anything I'd ever tasted. And seven years later, this is still my favorite coffee of all times. And I want to share it with you today. So I'm going to brew this Sudan Romay, which is from Las Margaritas, located in the Cauca Valley in the west part of Colombia. Here, Sudan Romay grows at an altitude of exactly 1,830 meters above sea level in a microclimate where it's two degrees cooler and 8% more humid than on the rest of the farm. And where the soil is a perfect mix with high levels of calcium, magnesium, and potassium for Sudan Romay to develop its cherries really well. And it's in these exact conditions where this variety developed this unique herbal note that I've never tasted in any other coffee before. It's harvested in May of this year, and during this harvest, they've intensified the picking of Sudan Romay making sure every plant was picked daily to achieve a more uniform ripeness of the cherry, with sugar levels of around 14 bricks. Now, this bricks level is ideal to make sure the fermentation progresses in a controlled manner, contributing to the balance and clean sweetness of this coffee. It's a natural processed coffee, fermented for 48 hours in cherry in closed tanks. And then it was dried for nine days using a mechanical dryer at a temperature of 40 degrees Celsius. This careful natural processing imparts the smooth tropical notes that remind me of mango in this coffee. I roasted it five days ago on a small hot air roaster, which allowed me to do small rub batches of only 100 grams. So I ended up experimenting a lot. There were a few things that I focused on trying to get the most out of this roast. The thing that had the biggest impact was airflow. By increasing the airflow substantially, I was really able to highlight this beautiful eucalyptus note that I tasted when I first tasted Sudan Romain. Next, I wanted to celebrate the vibrant acidity of this coffee. And for this, I made a roast of eight minutes with an end temperature of 210 degrees Celsius. I also roasted with a lot of energy till the end of the Maillard phase before rapidly decreasing to finish with a slow and stable rate of rise to get more body and sweetness. I'm using 20 grams of coffee to 300 grams of water. And this 1 to 15 ratio is going to give more a juicy texture to the coffee. I'm going to start my brew with a 50 gram bloom at 62 degrees Celsius. Now, blooming, as we all know, removes CO2 surrounding the coffee particles, allowing for more extraction in the subsequent pours. Blooming at low temperature adds another level to this process. The low temperature water extracts more sweetness while protecting the volatile compounds responsible for acidity and flavor from over-extracting. These are then extracted in the remaining pours at 90 degrees Celsius. The result is a ballet of flavors, all in balance. Now the water I'm using is a TDS of 85, and it's composed of one part calcium, one part bicarbonate, and three parts magnesium. This ratio is going to give the coffee a silky texture and a clean finish. I've divided my brew into three pours. The first one was the 50 gram low temperature bloom, which is going to give the coffee more sweetness. The second pour starts at 30 seconds. And it's going to be 150 grams. And this is where most of the acidity and flavors are extracted. And the final pour is 100 grams to create a balanced cup. It starts at 1 minute and 10. Total brew time is 2 minutes and 45 seconds. And 
And when I first tasted Sudan Rome seven years ago, I knew very little about coffee farms or varieties or how they would influence the flavor in the cup. But visiting Las Margaritas and tasting all of the varieties side by side was really a defining moment for me because I realized that variety actually plays a big role in terms of flavor. And for me, this Sudan Rome is a perfect example of a variety at its best and most pure, where it really shines. I've tasted pretty much every harvest of this coffee for the last seven years, and every year it has this beautiful herbal note that really comes from the variety. I'm just going to finish these brews. I'll be right with you guys. Thank you. All right, now for the best part, let's taste some coffees. But first, I have a few descriptors for you. We're going to start today with aroma. This coffee has aromas of eucalyptus. and a fresh cinnamon bun. For flavor, in the hot stage, you'll taste mango, passion fruit, and eucalyptus. In the warm stage, these flavors transform into mandarin, lemongrass, and white peach. And in the cold stage, milk chocolate and papaya. The aftertaste of this coffee is lingering and reminds me of a sweet black tea in the hot and the warm stage. And in the cold stage, it finishes like a minty chocolate, like after eight. The acidity is medium to high and is citric all the way from the hot to the cold stage. But in the hot stage, it has this beautiful sparkling acidity, like a lemonade. And as it cools down, this mellows out a bit. The body of the coffee is juicy in the hot stage. And in the warm stage, it turns silky all the way to the end. I want to ask you to evaluate the aroma from the server, and I'll pour you the coffee afterwards. And the coffee we tasted today, Sudan Rome, comes from a very small lot. It's not an easy variety to grow, and it's quite tricky to process. But it's a coffee that I really love because the variety just makes it so different. And I guess Las Margaritas must be the perfect place for Sudan Rome to grow, because even though it's surrounded by all these other exotic varieties, this still manages to stand out by itself. Now, it's because of competition that I got to know this coffee, and now it's because of this coffee that I'm competing here today. I want to thank you very much for joining me here on stage, and please enjoy. 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 Time. <laughs> 